welcome back. What's standing in the way of you and your dream career? Is it the misconceptions you have about going back to school as an adult and continuing your education online? Well, here's Olga with some good advice on how to overcome those fears. You've often thought about getting your master's, PhD, or bachelor's degree. You're unsatisfied with your job, your career path. Okay, does this sound familiar? With almost six million students enrolled in online classes, it's time to stop letting your fears hold you back. Returning to college and attending online classes as an adult does not have to be intimidating. Here to help us face our fears is the MBA program director from Bryan College, Dr. Kathy Estes. And also joining her is online student, Christy Wilkerson. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Doctor, let me start with you, because I read this this morning. I, I thought this was fascinating. Online education is one reason why women's enrollment in college has almost doubled, doubled in the past 40 years. It's a wonderful trend. Women are meeting the potential that they've always had and now they have the opportunity to do so. But realistically, there are still many women out there who have not done so. And I think it's a lot of fear or they're just intimidated by this. And there are some fears that I want to address. So can we address the first one? We sure can. Okay, here's the big one. You ready? They're afraid that they have, this is me, they have to be tech savvy. You don't have to be, right? You do not, and honestly, you probably have the skills that you need already. We're very familiar with using smartphones, tablets, laptops, all of those things, and those are the skills that you need. And if you do not have the skills that we need, there are plenty of tutorial videos that we could offer to bring you up to speed on those. Chrissy, did you feel like me a little bit? Oh, I was very intimidated. Um, I, I am not very tech savvy. I know. And I realized, though, with online school, it actually is easier than you think it is. All right, fear number two, cost. Many people feel it's too expensive. And that's a legitimate concern, but I would say there are lots of options. First of all, online tuition tends to be lower cost than a traditional campus because you're not paying for the athletic and housing facilities. Mm -hmm. So that's one advantage. Mm -hmm. Also, financial aid is available, just as it is for traditional students. Your employer might be willing to pay for it. You might be able to be offered special payment plans. All of those can help make the cost uh, more doable. Okay, last fear, and this is one that I think every woman out there can relate to. I'm working full time, I have a family, I'm juggling too much. Oh, here's the fear. I'm never going to get it done. It actually was quicker for me to use an online program as really? opposed to going to a campus. I received credit for uh, work experience and I was, I was able to get my hours a lot quicker. Mm. So, and one reason for that is that many times online classes are offered in an accelerated format. So it's not the traditional 15 or 16 week semester. It may be six weeks or eight weeks. All right, so now that we've squashed some of those fears and I'm getting more interested, you're piquing my interest here. Let's talk about Bryan, Bryan College and why online courses there are, are really good and advantageous. Obviously, the fl flexibility of an online program That's is huge. extremely important to most women. Uh, on top of that, though, it, with an online program, one concern might be is that it would be cold. Right, no personal connection. That's exactly right. And one of the things that we have been very intentional about is trying to build a support system and also try to encourage those relationships among students and then among students and faculty so that support that is there. I will say with Bryan College classes, they are taught from a Christian worldview, but that does not mean that you have to have any kind of religious affiliation in order to attend or earn a degree from Brian. And I know, Christy, for you, having a faith-based education was very important. It was important. My background, uh, I work as an administrative assistant at a Christian school, and uh, I really felt like I had the best of both worlds. I had a faith-based education, but I also had a high-quality education at the same time. And going back to something you said about that cold aspect and not feeling that you have that help, so when someone, uh, when someone is having a hard time with the subject or something in terms of comprehending, you felt that the help was there for you, Christy? Absolutely. They had several resources available. The professors were wonderful about getting back in contact with me in a very timely manner. That's important. And I was able to communicate with other students in the classroom. Now, online degrees versus traditional degrees, they're the same, right? Comparable. And at this point, yes, most people view them that way. The majority of employers' re research shows they are going to accept an online degree just like they do a traditional degree. But if you get an online degree, the key thing to look for is that make sure that you're at an institution that is regionally accredited by an accrediting body that is recognized by the Council for Higher Education Accreditation. And Bryan College is. And Bryan College is, yes. And Christy, you are getting a bachelor's in? Business administration. This is, when do you finish? I am done with my credit hours, but I will walk in a couple of months. I walk across the stage. Awesome. And why did you finally want to go back? 
a dream that I've had for a long time. So for someone out there that's had that dream and still hasn't accomplished, what would you say? I would tell them that the hardest part of the whole process is just making the commitment and doing it. But I'm here to say it can be done and my family was very supportive and I want my children to be proud of me and they are. I'm sure when they see mom walking down <laughs> and getting that wonderful degree, Absolutely. they'll be very proud. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor, very much. For more information, where do our viewers go? They can go to graduate.brian.edu. Thank you for your time. Thank you. By the way, you can learn a lot more about the online programs at Bryan College. Go to graduate.brian.edu or you can check out our website, thebalancingact.com.